From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. You take care of getting the lands. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. She... She has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Meanwhile, let us remain on our guard against any last-minute surprises. I know my brother well. He never prepares for war if he has no chance of winning. Finding out that I'm a demon makes no difference. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. If I'm asking you all these things, it's for your own good, you know. You are keeping up the good work, I see. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. Don't make me your competition, Duriche. You are no match. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. Dear friends, I'd like to thank you for your continued trust and confidence. I admit that during these past few days, there has been much upheaval. I understand you've all been affected by this. Nevertheless, the world doesn't stop turning, and we are in fact on the verge of reshaping the modern world. That is what we are all here for, my lord. Thank you for your enthusiasm, Monsieur Bonaparte. Now you all know what we have to do. I cannot warn you strongly enough. If one of Sir Gregory's guests asks to speak with you, remain on your guard. It is highly likely that he will try to rally as many supporters to his cause as he can. Don't worry, William. We are all here to support your project through to its conclusion. Thank you, George. Now, please, go and get some rest before the conference begins, which won't be long now. Louis, stay with me a moment, won't you? I'll be needing your services in a certain matter. Yes, of course. What's the matter? Louis, you are the only one here who I totally trust. It is very likely that Gregory will take possession of some of the members of our team. I shall keep them in check over the next few hours. However, I'll need you to... How can I say this? To persuade the members of Gregory's group. What do you mean by that exactly? You'll have free reign, my son. Persuade all of them. Use every possible means imaginable. But no physical violence. Let's be very, very clear about that. You must bring them all over to our side. One and what after if I the fail? other. I have faith in you, my son. Great faith. That notwithstanding, should any of them resist, we'll decide what to do afterwards. Now go, and come back and see me once you've finished. I'll be off then. Johann von Wunder. Why is his study in such a mess? Looks like Volner's planning something. What a mess. 
Looks like Volner was interrupted. Your Eminence, would you have a moment? I shouldn't really, Louis. As you can imagine. Rest assured, I've come just as a friend. All right then, Louis. But be quick. Thank you, Your Eminence. Ah. Uh, it's got nothing to do with it, but... You... You didn't come and see me in my room a few hours ago, did you? Hmm. Does he remember anything? Uh, oh no. No, I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I've been speaking to Lord Mortimer in his study. I... I must have dreamed it then. It seems so real. Don't blame yourself, Your Eminence. We're all exhausted. I can assure you of that. That's very kind of you, Louis. I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment, but I feel rather fragile. <sighs> Poor man seems terrified. It'd be a good idea if I reassured him a little before trying to get him to change sides. Oh, what did you want from me exactly? Your Eminence, don't worry over such small matters. God sees you and knows the value of his servants. <sighs> Thank you, my son. You've worked all your life to spread the good word. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'm sure you'll find the answer to your dreams. God is with you, and he will show you what you need to know. You are right, Louis. Thank you for your kind words. Please excuse me, Louis, if I've wasted your time. You came to see me about the conference, I imagine. And here I go rambling on about uh, I don't know what nonsense. No need to apologize, Your Eminence. Think nothing of it. <sighs> what did you want to speak to me about? Right. It's now or never to get him to change his mind. Your Eminence, trust me. I have faith in Lord Mortimer. Let me show you the way... What did you say? That I have faith in Lord Mortimer? No. After. Show you the way? Yes, Louis. You must show me the way. Guide me into the light. Yes. Yes, Your Eminence. Come with me into the light. I... Yes. I must listen to my conscience. Yes. Listen to that little voice in your head. What does it say? Yes, Louis. I will vote for William's project. I will follow you. I'm sure it will mean a great deal to Lord Mortimer, Your Eminence. Once again, thank you, my son. Please leave me now. I must pray. Of course, Your Eminence. I'll be on my way now.
Don't lose it, Louis. Leave what happened on the wharf behind, and don't let yourself be overwhelmed by anger. Concentrate on the conference. You are here only for the conference. Come on. Duchess! Enter Louis. You've timed your arrival perfectly, my dear friend. I was about to come and see you. Am I dreaming, or is she making out that nothing happened? Madam, I'm here for the conference, but I'd like to make it clear that I have not forgotten what happened on the wharf. So I'd like to get straight to the point without wasting a second. Louis, I was hoping- Wrongly. I'm only here because I wasn't given a choice. I'd like to know which way you're going to vote. I shall vote against Mortimer's project, of course. Damn it. No, you will vote for. I beg your pardon? Yes, you're going to vote for, and I'm going to tell you why. What can make her change her mind? You're going to vote for. Otherwise, once back on the continent, I shall hand you over to the authorities for the murder of my mother. You don't have a choice, madam. You'll do what I say. My poor friend, you are off your game. I understand your pain following Sarah's death, but you've got nothing on me. And I don't know where you think you are going with this attempt to intimidate me, but I really must tell you that it's simply pathetic. But Shut I... up! You have no power over me. Well, it seems like we're finished here. Is there something you wanted to speak to me about? I've some important news to tell you. some important news to tell you and above all try to stay calm I want you to know the truth because I see you here among us in total ignorance and it sincerely makes me sad what the hell are you talking about for God's sake oh Louis don't start shouting very well Emma I'm sorry I lost my temper what is it you want to speak to me about oh that's more like it well what I wanted to tell you, I'm Mortimer's daughter as well. We are brother and sister, Louis. What? Wait. Oh, what? I... and I am a demon. There. Now you know everything. I feel better for it. I didn't want there to be any lies between us. How do you feel? Keep concentrated, Louis. Don't give anything away. Concentrate. All right. All right. Are you all right about it? Of course. Oh, I was worried you'd take it the wrong way. No, no, of course not. Good, I'm glad. You understand, if we are to move forward together, we have to be able to trust one another. Move forward? <laughs> of course. Yes, once we're together. I've been thinking about it, you know. Once we get back, we won't have to wait long before my poor husband passes. Then, we'll be able to get married. Excuse me, get married? Oh, Louis, I've been thinking of nothing else. My sister would never have made you happy, you know. You'll see. I'll take care of everything and we'll be happy, my love. Yes, uh, of course we will. That poor woman is literally broken inside. I may not be in love with her, but... I wouldn't wish that upon anyone. A devil's thorn, to be used to uncover the best disguised traits. You should get ready for the conference, Louis.
Duke Manuel. De Richet. I'm delighted to see you're standing by Lord Mortimer. One cannot say that the situation is altogether reassuring, but I must admit, he does know what he's doing. Something tells me I've made the right choice. So, to thank you for persuading me to join you, what would you say to a nice piece of amber? I am given to understand that you collect it? Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it to it, sir. It is the least I can do. Good. See you at the vault. I'll see you later, then. Right. Godoy is on board. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service, day and night, sir. As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? You wouldn't have a little golden elixir I could use, would you? Oh, unfortunately, sir, I have orders not to give any of that medicine to any of Lord Mortimer's guests. Some guests are here to follow a very strict treatment. Mixing or combining certain substances would be dangerous for sir. My good fellow, you're right. One should never mix treatments without the advice of an expert. It so happens that I usually make my own golden elixir, but I haven't brought my kit with me. Perhaps, in that case, would you fetch a spoonful of ethyl alcohol, ethereal oil, and 10 milliliters of ethanol for me? Along with that, a small quantity of gold, please. Just a few crumbs will suffice. Ah, I see that Sir knows his subject. Therefore, I see no reason why I shouldn't give them to you. I hope that will be enough for you, Sir, because I haven't any more. Thank you. That will be fine. May I help with anything else, Sir? My good fellow, would you have any amber available? I would, but unfortunately I don't think I am authorized to give it out, sir. I believe it is a precious stone. No point in lying, you know. I know full well you haven't got any. I would never think of lying, sir. I don't believe I am authorized to give it away, that is all. Amber? Here? I'd be surprised. Yet, I assure you, sir... No, you're pulling my leg. I don't believe you. I wouldn't dare to joke with, sir. Yeah, sure. You're just leading me on. I dare you to show it to me, if you really have some. Well, then, sir, here is a piece. Ah, right. Well, I'm impressed. Can you lend it to me for a minute? Of course, sir. Here. Wow. I can hardly believe it. Well, I have other questions. Of course, sir. But, sir, I believe you haven't given me back the amber, sir. What? What amber? The piece I gave to sir. No, I don't know what you're talking about. You really ought to look after your things. It can't be easy to come across amber in these parts. Ah. Um, well, does sir desire anything else? What's that book you're hiding in your jacket? The Sorrows of Young Werther, by Goethe, sir. And I am not hiding it. Hand it to me, please. It is damaged, sir. I would never dare lend sir a book in such a pitiful state, sir. I took it to restore. Hang on, but it's mine. Beg pardon, sir? It's my book. I'm telling you, it's my book. With all due respect, sir, I hope sir will understand that I have doubts. You see, I found it in Lord Mortimer's library. Huh. There you are, then. That's exactly where I left it. I am quite put out, sir. I don't know what to say. In that case, I suggest you say nothing and hand it over. But I... Now! But, sir, I... Very well, sir. 
Here you are. May sir take good care of it. It is damaged. And you've damaged it as well? Well, bravo. Bravo. No, no, I didn't do anything. It wasn't me, sir. Say pardon. Pardon me, sir. Very good. There were some other things I wanted to go over with you. Fragment of amber. A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Gotta admit, you did give us a run for our money. Huh? A page has been torn out. Some rope. Apparently no one's touched for a good long time. Talk to Von Voner. Blast it. Home is with him. Gentlemen. Louis! I'm sorry, but we are waiting for Duke Manuel. If you wouldn't mind leaving us, I should think you already have enough to do as it is. Very well. I didn't mean to disturb you. They're waiting for Duke Manuel. I doubt to make him change sides. <sighs> All right. If they want him, then they'll get him.
Yes, monsieur. Is there something you wanted to add? Concentrate. I need you to listen carefully to what I have to say, Godoy. I am all ears. Louis, push. I need you to do me a little favor. It's working. That's it, Louis. Get in his head. Oh, dear. What is happening to me? I, I do not feel very well. I need your help, sir. Get in his head. Oh, perfect. Thank you, monsieur. I'm sure I'll know how to take full advantage of your vessel, now that I am Manuel. Duke Manuel, here you are at last. Sir Gregory, Mr. Von Volner. Thank you for agreeing to this meeting. I shan't beat about the bush, my friend. I was very disappointed by your behavior. I had thought you more loyal. Consequently, my affection for you leads me to ask you to reconsider one last time. I've already reconsidered it, Sir Gregory. I shall be loyal to you when it comes to the vote. Have no doubt about it. Excellent news indeed, my friend. Did you hear, Johan? Yes, and it comes at a most timely moment. I anticipate an overwhelming victory. It goes without saying to keep it to yourself. I would like to give William a nice surprise. Whatever you say. I'll leave you with Johan a while. I still have a few things to settle. I shan't be long. See you later, Sir Gregory. Oh, good boy. Come over here. I'm warming myself up. I had the misfortune to step outside and I'm frozen solid. I wonder what he was doing outside. Something to do with what Holm asked him for, maybe. He's back from the landing stage. Damn. He must have gone to deposit al Azif for someone to pick up. Mr. Von Volner, I wanted to speak to you. I'd like to make you an offer you can't refuse. I'm all ears. Now, we don't have much time, so here it is. You will vote for Mortimer. What a strange idea, Kodoy. You are being ridiculous. Tell me now, why would I do that? Damn, traitor is about to drop us. Louisiana is Spanish. Consequently, I am best placed to know what to do with it. It's turning into a personal stake between Gregory and William. Honestly, would you like it if someone told you what to do with Royal Prussia and Greater Poland? Well... It depends. No. Don't try smoothing things over. You are a statesman. You know what I mean. Today, Spain is weighed down by Louisiana. A source of epidemics, insurrections. It prevents us from concentrating on exploiting the wealth in the Western territories. And I have to let Gregory decide? I understand your point of view. But as far as I'm concerned, I would rather be honest. You are wasting your time, Duke Manuel. You know nothing about me, and your attempts to manipulate me have no effect. You behave as though we were close. Yet ever since you arrived, you've only been interested in your own little self. Don't say that, Johan. We may not be friends, but we are allies. Is that so? And if he knew I was Gregory's son, he wouldn't try it on like this. About you? Next to nothing. Except that you happen to be Sir Gregory Holmes' son, right? What? What do you mean? But, uh, ah, now I'm starting to be of interest to you, no? Uh, I've never spoken to anyone about that. <laughs> Quite surprising, isn't it? You see, I'm full of surprises. In short, whether he's your father or not makes no real difference to me. <sighs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Come on, Johan. Don't make me laugh. He has never thought of you as his son. I'd wager that you'd always hoped he would one day, even though he treated you like a master treats a useful slave. He is, at best, a mentor. Stop me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but, uh, tell me, why do you want to follow Mortimer all of a sudden? Mortimer is planning something. We don't know everything. He must have something up his sleeve to be so confident. Ah, 
Really? And what do you think that might be? How the devil did he find out that I'm Holmes' son? I've heard things. What are you talking about? It would seem that Lord Mortimer has Sir Gregory under his thumb. He has something on him that frightens him. What on earth are you talking about? I'm not sure, but I'm convinced that Holm won't go through with total opposition. And in the end, he will do whatever Lord Mortimer tells him to. All of this is just a facade, so he doesn't lose face. Holm is like a cornered rat. Listen, I haven't the foggiest what you are spouting on about, but Sir Gregory has never been afraid. I don't know what you're playing at, Cordoy, but this isn't the kind of argument that's going to make me follow you. Look, I hear everything you're saying, but there is no chance that Mortimer can make us all change sides. That is why Sir Gregory can but win. You understand? Think again. It's already too late. That clever Doriche turned them all against... What the...? All of them. One by one, he somehow persuaded them to join Mortimer. But... No! No, that's impossible! It looks like all of us have seriously underestimated him. While we all thought he was running around after his poor mother, he was actually accomplishing the tour de force of winning us all over, one after the other. You're the only one left, Johan. I dare not imagine what Mortimer will do if he finds out you are against him. Because, from now on, you're on your own. Good luck. No, no, wait. I... I hear you. Honestly, betraying Gregory is... Well, it's... It's unthinkable, unless I simply don't have any choice. Yes, he's finally cracked. Thank you for warning me. You're welcome. There is nothing more natural between allies. I did what I could. Now, it's up to you. As for me, I'll vote for Mortimer. Good luck to you. Good luck. Good. I mustn't lose too much time. See you later, my Lord Duke. Have a nice rest. Louis, there you are. Well, tell me, how did it go? I did my best. Whom did you manage to persuade? You can count on Cardinal Piaggi. Ah, perfect. I had a feeling old Giuseppe would be able to follow me. You can count on Duke Manuel's vote. Now I am impressed. I would never have thought the Duke would have yielded. I see you must have been very persuasive. You can count on Mr. Von Volner. Really? Well, I must admit, I'm stunned at your success there. I truly believed he would never betray Gregory. Listen, Louis. Congratulations for what you've just accomplished. It's not perfect, but it's still quite a feat. But not enough, given that the vote must be approved unanimously. We're going to lose. Don't worry. I couldn't have been any more persuasive myself. You've done the hardest part. 
I'll take over now. Don't worry. Assemble everyone in the conference room. Meet me there and let's get it over with. My friends, here we are at last, gathered together to close this conference. I would first of all like to thank you all for making the time to be here and lend your services. Gregory, I, I believe I may speak for both of us, when I say that we are honored by your presence here. You, you are perfectly right to do so, William. Thank you for putting your faith in us and for coming here to participate in this conference. Thank you for helping us to make the best decisions. And I especially want to thank you, William, for, for perfectly hosting us at your home during these past several days. I'm not sure all the guests would agree to that. In any case, Holm doesn't seem to be himself. Good. I think we can begin. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France? Monsieur de Richet? I vote for. Duchess Hillsborough? Against! Duke Manuel? For! Your Eminence? For! But I... Gregory, please. Monsieur Napoleon? For! Mr. Von Volner? For! What? Gregory, but... please refrain from interrupting the voting. You know the rules, brother. President Washington? For! The votes? are now cast. So you were not won over by my project. Hmm, that hurts. I... I warned you! You did... You didn't want to... Listen to me! Never mind. It will still come to pass. Traitor! What have you done? You are... You are obliged to respect your... Your word. That is the, the... the rule! The time of conferences is over, dear brother. Let us abandon all this charade. You don't... have... the... right! What have you done to me? What have I done? Nothing, Gregory. You did it yourself. A word of advice. In the future, oh, that is, if you have one, don't drink someone else's cup of tea without checking what's in it. Father, what happened? Sir Gregory, what's the matter? William, what have you done? Not now. You, you are mad, William! Father will, father will punish you for, for this! He will probably try, unless I get to him first. But I cannot die! No, you cannot die. You are, however, losing all sense of reason, as well as all your special abilities. What? What? What did I drink? Can't you guess? There are but few things that can have such an effect on such as we. You would know that if you ever ventured even a little way off of father's beaten track. I... Revenge! Oh, no, my dear Gregory. You will not be taking any revenge. You will die stupidly, alone, enclosed in that rather withered body. Help! Help me! After several centuries Help! of near absolute power, here you find yourself on your hands and knees, hoping in vain that someone is going to help you. Tell me, what does that feel like? Never happened to me. Can't be good. You cannot leave your body. You cannot project yourself elsewhere. You cannot even contact father. Go ahead. Try. But you are my brother. So I ask you to remember that all this is your own fault. And I want you to understand I get absolutely no pleasure out of it. Well, very little. 
Swine! A new order is born today, brother. Enough of father's hegemony. After all these years of servitude, I can finally stand up and oppose it. You chose to serve him, whatever his excesses. Now it's up to you to face the consequences of that choice. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> I am stronger than, than you!